So I thought I'd try Galakron Shaman because you know what? Everyone's talking about it. Everyone says it's great and uh, um, it's stupid. It's really, it's really, really good. It's probably the best deck I've ever played. Maybe even the most broken deck I've ever played. Like, it just feels like it's leagues ahead of every other deck that I play against. Even when you don't draw well, it's incredibly good. And when you draw well, it seems like you are just unstoppable. What sucks most about it is that it's just, it's not interactive. It's not fun for your opponent to play against because there's no real way to deal with it. It doesn't feel like anyway. I think they need to nerf Shaman. Um, the invoke is just way too good. It's very proactive. Summoning rush minions as opposed to something like, like Priest where you just get a random, you know, minion in your hand. That's just... It's not, it's not useful, whereas Invoke is immediately useful. I think Corrupt Elementalist needs a nerf. It invokes twice. Like, nothing else invokes twice. So why does one of the decks with the strongest invokes... Why do, why do we have an Invoke Twice card? And then on top of that, you just follow it up with Dragon's Pack, which is a consistent 5 mana 10, 12 worth of stats. And then you got Galakron and you got Kronks. And not only that, but you can replay them with Shutterwalk. So it's it's incredibly strong. This is the best deck on HS Replay. Uh, this is the best deck in Hearthstone right now. Is there still some refinement? Maybe, but this might just be a safe deck to craft, honestly. It's really, really stupid. It's really busted. I, I, I do hope they fix it. It kind of sucks because Shaman was so good uh, pre-expansion, and now it's it's good again. So I'm, I'm even hoping within two weeks maybe they do something about this but yeah i guess for now if you want free wins just go ahead and try this out i don't like the quest build the quest build's very very good but this just seems to be a little bit better per statistics it doesn't really need the quest so putting a a, a weaker package in just to fulfill the requirements of the quest doesn't seem like the way to go but if you prefer the quest build go for it this one is just better for now anyways and the current unstable meta hope you like this video Good luck on ladder. Stay hydrated. Okay. Keeping the elementalist seems pretty good. I almost want to keep both of these. Then I can coin this and then play Galakrond on curve. Seems stupid. This is like the highest win rate card. I'm going to try it. Last time I got wrecked by Shaman because they got the Galakrond before me. We need Hentai Hunter back to punish those Shaman. I, I wonder if Quest... Hunter is the way. I really do. Slurp it up. Okay, so this guy is playing quest, so we win, right? I think that's how it works. I think that's how this works. I might do this just so I get a body and I push face. See, coining the Elementalist into the pack. And then on 7 playing Galakrond. Gonna be good. Why win if he has quest? That bad? Uh, quest is just cuttable. His win rate goes down by like 10% if he runs quest. God dang, dude. That's disgusting. I wonder if I lackey this. Wow, the high roll. The high roll. This expansion has very little counterplay. One deck either curves perfectly and wins or never stood a chance. I was having a lot of fun the first day. There was a lot of back and forth. Now that everyone's playing Shaman, it's a little bit different. But the first day I was playing, it was a lot of uh, going fighting for board. A lot of trading. That's what makes Hearthstone fun. But yeah, today not so much. Double the power, double the storm. Double, double the power. Okay, let's uh, let's leave the slurp. Let's kill this. And let's kill that. This is fine. You just see this? Ugh, this is stupid. This is stupid, man. It's so easy. Like if this invoked once and was four mana. Maybe that's what they should do. Maybe this is the, the core of all evil right now. Cause like this curving into Dragon's Pack, it doesn't even curve, but I mean, playing this as on six, after you've played this, 
It's 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 too easy. It's way too easy. And then this is what? 10? 10, 10, uh, 10, 12? Is that what it is? 10, 12 worth of stats for 5 mana? Come on. Come on now. You gotta play that. That's stupid. I really hope it doesn't have a mutate. But I guess it's not the end of the world. I don't want to play Kronks until... After we've played Galakron, I do. I, I want one more invoke. I'm so close, so so close. Okay, so value trade and maybe use a corruptor here. Don't be taunt. Don't be taunt. Nope. I do this. <laughs> this is too good. It's too good. This deck is. Now this is upgraded, then I get to Kronks, and then I get to Shutterwalk afterwards. Stupid man. Let's drop this so we can't keep getting the black piece. Playing Battlecry 1, I'm ranked 3 2. Yeah, you should play this one instead. There are people who play this deck with Quest. Do you think it's not worth it? Uh, statistics? Uh, the one without it has a 67% win rate, and the one with it has a 58%. 58.7. That's, what, 8% almost? 8.3? Or 7... 7.7? Mr. Daxter, do you have a good link for Priest deck, please? This is the last one that I was playing. I, the Priest is, uh, not refined. See, look at this. Look at this. The ocean's and the heavens cry. I think I just trade this. Yeah, this is stupid. So if you play the, 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 the quest one, you're going to lose to this version. This version is just faster, and you really don't need the value of the quest, right? So the whole point of the quest is that I guess you can go quest into Galakrond. And then you get four eight eights. Like it's nuts. It's nuts. It is. The Thunder King versus Roam. I saw a list of Mech Hunter. I tried it. It was pretty fun. Did it have new cards? I think I keep both of these again. This is just we have nothing to do for a while. Let's try it out. Got kind of lucky there. Consistently getting Galakron though against Shaman I think is really important. That's kind of what makes you win or lose. Play Bloodless instead of Quest. There you go. Oh my god. Wow, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous because we get to play this on 4, this on 5. This curves into uh, to Kronks and then we... Or sorry, into uh, Galakrond. And we've already invoked 4 times by then. Because this is double, this is 1, and we just did 1. You considering coining that? Is it Titanic? Little time. Maybe. Invocation? Wow. I don't know if that was worth. I'll take it. I think Barista is core to this build. Um. She's really good if you want some dirty value. I think uh, I have not gotten good value out of her personally. So maybe she's not exactly core. God. Dicks. Do you want to give birth to my children? Uh, Niver. What's up? Hello. What's happening? See, and this is just... I don't know why they didn't make all Galakrons equal. I feel like this was a... Like, this is so proactive. It's proactive. And then you got stuff like Priest, which is so slow. So, so slow. 
All right, I'm playing this on five, this on six, this on seven, this on eight. Oh, sorry, I'm not playing this on six. I didn't realize I drew Galakron. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna- we're- okay, that's fine. We'll Galakron and then we'll play Kronks. Even better. Even better. Get to kill that, maybe I do a faceless. Uh, this deck feels like cheating. I feel like I'm cheating, even though I'm playing against someone else playing the same deck as me. What's the use for Barista? You just have a ton of battle cries that get you a ton of value. You can land it on this. You can land it on the faceless. You can land it on Shutterwalk. You can land it on Kronks. So many good uses. Big dang good. What a top deck. I'm not trading. Yo, Glurm, oh my god, how you doing, Glurm? I'm gonna DM you the link. Alright, Mello. Uh, you should send it to a mod. Maybe there's no mods right now. But that would be preferable, so... Lack of interruption. To do. I'm loving Priest, though, not sure why. I think there's gonna be a decent Priest deck. I just think this needs a nerf first. I feel like, uh... Slower decks just how do you deal with this? I guess hysteria is pretty good against this. Hysteria and then plague, but then they just reflood the board so easily. Hmm. Stupid. This is pretty dumb. Concede, maybe? I'm gonna take it in the face. In order to keep these healthier. I'll leave that up. Next time we can Kronks. Can add six to the board. Do damage to him. Or I could also just Shutterwalk and forget about Kronks. Nah, probably Kronks. Let's get max value. This will be fun. I guess I already win though. Unless I, I thought he was gonna do something with this Electra. We have lethal on board. I'm gonna play this anyway. This is ridiculous, dude. And then okay, if he did have a way to deal with that, then we had Shutter Walk, right? Like that's insane, dude. It's, it's too it's too good. Oh man. I don't think I keep these. A lot of people keep devoted. I guess devoted's not bad. And this actually has a high win rate, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I think Kronks is a must. Yeah. Because Kronks, oh my god, that's so bad. Kronks is a tutor for your Galakron. And then if you already Galakron did, Kronks is just even better. So it just increases the odds of you drawing your Galakron. It's almost like having... It's a terrible example. It's almost like having two Galakrons in your deck. I don't like that example. I like Voodoo. Let's do it. Like if this sticks and I Voodoo it, or if this sticks and I Voodoo it, I don't like that. Like Galakrond is a must. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Must the sun well. What? He's going for another? Uh, do I Farsight or Totem? I think I just Farsight here. Let's pop that shield. Um, I don't know if popping the shield is actually... Oh, that was totally worth it. Yeah, it's totally fine. See, if I would have played Mana Tide, he would just clapped it, right? So I feel like playing the Farsight almost does the exact same thing as the Mana Tide. I guess it wouldn't have absorbed the hit, though. It's a 0-3 draw card with Taunt that's gonna die immediately. 
Farsight gives me that discount. Now I can do this with Big Bad. Oh, that's good. I guess I could just do this, though. I think I'm going to do this in Big Bad. All right, we won. I think. Uh, I guess it's possible he draws like his Kronks and his Galakron and stuff. And his Shutterwalk and we don't. Kronks is like having a second Zephyrus in a way. <laughs> Something like that. Don't have Farsight. Farsight's... Farsight's a good card. We can do this, just get mad stats. I don't hate hitting this. He's already used two mutates, so I'm not too worried about the rush guy. I'm just gonna hit face then. Vote Galakron twice. Alright, we won. <laughs> okay, this is good. Let's lose this, see what we get. It's the first time I've seen it in game. Alright, I'm gonna do this guy. Instead of playing the Elementalist. This way we're also playing around MCT. If we play the Elementalist, it wouldn't have played around it. Double the power, double the stars. Can't even kill anything. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, I wonder why I use those mutates so early. Um, this, and I don't think I even towed him. These go face. And then next turn we just drink and win. These guys run MCT, right? Yeah, they totally do. That's the thing. All right, so he needs, uh, he needs to like Galakrond right now. But that doesn't even do anything for him. Oh, I guess it does. It'll give him the big rushes. Shit. Invoke card is just dumb, I agree. They need to change... Okay, they need to change the Invoke. And they need to change Flesh Shaper. You still had lethal there. This is dumb. Thanks. Okay, Galakron's a bad keep, right? Galakron is actually one of the highest win rate cards when you keep it in your mulligan. Against Shaman, Galakron's still one of the highest win rate cards. I'm a little tempted to keep it. And then if I get uh, Kronks, I just Kronks after a Galakron. So I think it's wrong. I think the stats are wrong. I disagree with the stats. Anyone have a good Galakron priest? Where's Rasai? Where are you, Rasai? I'll test some face hunter tonight. We know they're called like Sand Trooper, I think. Dude. It's just all disappointing to me. There's too much heal going on. And too much Shaman. Shaman's just busted. It's stupid. This deck is stupid. Okay. This is okay. I'm gonna Bander Smash my Galakron Quest Shaman. I got Faldris on. Oh my god. That's pretty good. That's really good. I wish I made Dragon Druid stronger, my favorite class. Dragon Druid was a lot of fun day one. But I think there's just too much Shaman. Um, Coining the Totem? Terrible. Playing the Lackey? Terrible. Doing nothing? Also terrible. In your opinion, Chenvala or Waxadred with my next 1600 Dust? I got Flick so far. Uh, I would go Waxadred then, and just go like some rogue builds tricks. Honestly, those both seem like very niche 
legendaries. It's hard to recommend. It's hard to recommend either of those. Oh my god, Banes! Banes dropping the tier one. Thank you. Welcome to the lab. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. I might do... I do totem. I rush the totem. I'm going to coin the flesh shaper. I'm going to slap this around. I'm going to slap this. I'm going to lose. Oh god. And then I'm going to mutate this. That's pretty good. I guess I should have mutated before slapping there. This is fine though. How does he get through that? You're welcome. Thank you, B. I got 12 on 176 packs. That's really good. And 11 on 169? Those are both really lucky. Good job. Hexy. You don't got X cap. 14-5 with this shaman. Name the deck Tryhard. I think that's, uh, that's an appropriate name. Um, I think I just give this rush and lose it. All right, we won the game. Unless he has some super swingy turns with um, Kronks and Galakrond, but then he still needs to invoke. I think we're going to do just fine. I played Battlegrounds yesterday. Totally cheated. I was Rafam. I got the cat as my first guy. I did a very greedy thing. I sold the token, hit the button, got curators. Amalgam? <laughs> That sounds like a really good, uh, a good YouTube. But what if you would have whiff? What if you wouldn't have killed the amalgam? Overcharged and ready to that was a fight. risky move. Shall we make a storm? My God, we gotta kill this turd. How about a new eye? How about a new eye? One of those. One of these. This over here. This face. Yeah, this deck is stupid, man. It's stupid. And then I just Kronks, and then I can double invoke, and then I can play Galakrond, and I... It's, it's ridiculous. What is DM? Direct message. Sending a message directly. Double the power, double the storm! Was this high roll? It definitely wasn't low roll. Doesn't have a lot of attack or anything, but it's super annoying for his little dudes. I feel like I just do the elementalist, although playing Crocs is super solid. Okay, fuck it, let's just, let's just throw him. Show me the punish. Show me the punish for leaving this up. I could have traded a Corruptor in, or I could have bumped with these two. I think we just win, though. What up, Bap? Are you liking the new expansion? I'm loving it. I just think they need a nerf Shaman. I hope they're already onto it, and they're considering nerfing it. And it's not like Evolve. Otherwise, uh, this is going to get stale in about a week. And then everybody is going to play... Battlegrounds. <laughs> What's gonna happen? We need one damage? Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. I don't hate this. Let's do it. We had one damage here, by the way. Okay. Um. So this guy's upgraded. I just lose this. I don't like that frog, but what can I really do about it? I can mutate this. Not really worth. I can mutate this to a six, which I don't hate. Or I can mutate this to a six. I guess I'd rather do it here. And then I'm just going to totem as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Where are my damage lackeys? I'm not getting any damage lackeys. Control warrior Mello. It's disgusting. I've not seen a single control warrior. You think they'll just... You think they just kill Shaman? Um... I think they need to do well something. Played. I don't know what it is. It's not even... Mutate and Flesh Shaper that's the main issue right now. Their Invoke is just too proactive. This is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> 